Hello, this is the practitioner here. Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, parapsych researcher, technical skeptic and technical agnostic, Fortean skeptic, and Asperger's, and Aspie. I'm now doing this video to address the, uh, this is my video to address the uh, spammers. I've gotten, um, I have uh, considerable work I have to do in studying for my final exam on Tuesday for Math 235, and I've got a lot of other work to do. First things first, I'm at Athabasca University. I'm not at Camosun College. Um, you know, I'm not at a local college. Camosun College is the local community college in my area. Um, no, I'm attending local university for one thing. Secondly, um, I would like to mention uh, that I actually do have Asperger's. Uh, let me to uh, uh, suggest someone who accused me of doing a self-diagnosed disorder. Uh, they said there's no such thing as Asperger's. I said Asperger's is an autistic spectrum disorder, look it up. This guy, PPP Aron, said as follows. I have read all about it and I am, I am certain uh, uh, and I am certain it is something nerds made up to feel better about themselves being awkward. For instance, I would wager that your Asperger's is a self-diagnosed disorder. At the very best, it is similar to a psychiatrist creating borderline personality disorder as names to describe people who are very, very annoying. A lot of psychologists won't designate people with that, uh, for that disorder for that reason. Why can't you just say you are a nerd instead of making something up? Well, guess what? I have the evidence to prove it. I have here with me my confidential educational assessment. 2002 from Maxwell International High School, back when I was still in high school. And let me read for you. Uh, this goes on through the DSM-4. It explains uh, my uh, anxiety, uh, the way uh, my mathematical capability vis-a-vis -vis my anxiety, uh, my social deficits, my uh, verbal versus performance IQ, how, render, how standard IQ is rendered meaningless uh, due to a disparity between two different areas, lack of organization, um, problems at the time with religious paradigms. Um, let's see what else. Where is it here? Um, Okay, uh, where is it here? Let's actually scoot to the ending. Um, here we go, the summary of the report. I'm going to read this out for you one uh, step at a time. Um, Guthrie was referred for an evaluation through his school concerning his development. Yes, I'm revealing my first name on YouTube. Um, he was administered to the Bender, the WISC-3, the, WSC, uh, the WCST, uh, uh, um, and uh, selected subsets from the WIAT2, and his stepmother, teacher, and Guthrie himself filled out a Connors Behavioral Checklist. The school also filled out an ABS-S2. Both parents, uh, both parent and teachers filled out an ASSQ and the CARS. Uh, lastly, his stepmother filled out an analysis of sensory behavior. The Benders show that his perceptual, mo uh, her perce perceptual motor development is probably low for his age. Made mistakes as he erased several times. The WISC3 um, indicate, uh, showed that his uh, intellectual development is in the superior range in the verbal domain, but is in the low average uh, in the range non-verbally. This was a very large difference between the two scales favoring the verbally. His verbal abstract reasoning is uh, well, very well developed for his age. His auditory and long-term memory are well intact. Um, because of the much lower uh, performance uh, spatial IQ, there is a suggestion that uh, Guthrie manifests a severe visual spatial reasoning, uh, 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 severe visual spatial ability. As well, there is a profile on the performance scale of a possible visual and or visual perceptual problem. The WICST um, uh, we're, uh, we're in the lower, uh, the low average range for his age, and suggests that he can solve nonverbal problems, focus in on tasks that are novel in nature, and work under variable conditions when given appropriate feedback. If not, he tends to get stuck in an inflexible, rigid thought pattern. This is why I started taking critical thinking classes. I had to counteract this particular problem. Uh, he will eventually respond to feedback. Uh, his nonverbal uh, thinking ability is poor, um, and he seems to convert spatial reasoning tasks into a language-based process. Why do you think I'm constantly on about these critical thinking fallacies? Um, Language-based, um, uh, he uses, uh, uses self-talk, especially when faced with a visual spatial, uh, spatial reasoning ta uh, task like mathematics. The results of the WIAT suggest that, uh, that his reading, spelling, and mathematics are all exceptionally well-developed for his age. He, however, uh, however, he requires much time to process math tasks as he needs to use self-talk to accomplish this. My math levels are quite high. It's one of the reasons I'm in science. However, I need the verbal spatial to be, I need the verbal to be able to help me focus. Why do you think I stumble so much? It's because I'm in the process of trying to transfer what's up here into a verbal format to refeed it back into my system to be able to keep it focused and coherent. This is me actively trying to fight a disability. 
Um, analysis of the Con of the Connors uh, forms suggests uh, so, uh, possible problems in six areas, mostly social problems, emotional issues, and attentional deficits. The self-report for the Connors uh, indicated no problems uh, to, with gut respect to Guthrie's perception of himself. Um, uh, it goes on the analysis uh, of the sensory behavior into inventory indicated that his sensory issues are mainly in the area of motor di uh, of, mo of motion difficulties, especially when Guthrie was younger. The car scores um, indicated a non-autistic result based on the uh, on the uh, based on information from the home and school. However, the result of the ASSQ suggests Guthrie manifests a possible profile for Asperger's syndrome. The results of the ABS2 uh, indicate problems um, uh, indicate problems with the community um, and personal responsibility. Guthrie also manifests severe problems with personal adjustment. Uh, these findings are not surprising. That according to the school, he does uh, exhibit so, uh, several um, he does exhibit eccentric behaviors in schools, and doctors have diagnosed him with several mental health and or developmental difficulties. I have been through a whole slew of stuff, including misdiagnosed with uh, pediatric onset bipolar, uh, schizophrenia. Uh, at the age of eight, when technically speaking, schizophrenia does not develop until age 18 or late teens. So um, I'm not sure where they got that from, but mind you, that was in a that was a couple of decades ago. Um, anyway, so uh, let me finish off with the summary. Guthrie demonstrates the traits for Asperger's syndrome on some or on, on or some form of high functioning pervasive de developmental disorder. Well, what does that say? Guthrie develop, demonstrates the traits for Asperger's syndrome or some other form of high-functioning pervasive, pervasive developmental disorder. Three main domains are um, encompassed um, within the Asperger's syndrome. Motor, visual, spatial, organizational, and social. When younger, Guthrie's motor and perceptual uh, balance were, le um, were le less developed, um, uh, were less well developed. He still demonstrates some visual, uh, perceptual, and or visual motor problems. Visual spatial organizational is a very large domain and is usually found in, vi in, uh, in individuals who have difficulty in reading people and understanding nonverbal communication. Individuals uh, with problems in this area have difficulty uh, f uh, understanding form consistency and gestalt impressions. Students uh, with the problem in object assembly, uh, with, uh, with problems in object assembly, even uh, when they tell, uh, can tell you what an object is, cannot put it together, a consistency with the, this problem area. Um, Several uh, social skill problems. Um, this area is one of the most prominent deficits experienced by Guthrie uh, over some length of time in his uh, development, um, developmental years um, uh, up to the present time. He is very loud. He is in your face. Uh, he presents uh, as utter eccentric uh, um, or odd when he talks on his tangential topics. Uh, Aspies have a capability generally of focusing on one particular area. In my case, I did a multi-specialization topic. I tried to get as uh, much information up here as possible using the long-term memory about as many tangential topics as possible. It wasn't until I actually uh, started attending university when I switched over to science and also started taking critical thinking classes as electives that I was able to uh, fully mesh it together into something that is, well, what you see now. Um, and it's still a work in progress. Uh, students with Asper, uh, students with AS uh, frequently have attentional and impulsive behavior. They usually manifest uh, anxiety disorders in some form. Bingo. Um, they, uh, the, um, I've also got a doctor's note here, um, which actually talks about my um, environmental disorder, uh, which says Guthrie suffers from medical disability, uh, and as a result of his medical problem, at times he suffers from period, uh, uh, suffers from panic and or anxiety uh, episodes. From the history Guthrie has provided me, I believe that he is a uh, uh, that he um, experienced uh, an anxiety episode today of sufficient severity that he was unable to think uh, clearly and was unable to perform his best at his exam. That was a doctor's note just uh, from a couple of weeks ago. Um, so yeah, the, um, they, uh, they also manifest tic disorders and uh, at a much higher rate than, uh, than happens in children of the normal population. And it goes on from there. So like I said, I do have proof of my Asperger's syndrome right here. This has copies at every university I've attended. This was done by Dr. Robert Scott, a neuropsychologist in the, university at, uh, in the city of Victoria, British Columbia. Um, so like I said, I was diagnosed in grade 11. Um, they were actually having trouble trying to figure out what it was at first that I actually was uh, having trouble with. So, um, you know, this isn't just something made up. I actually do have a disorder. And uh, contrary to that, I have been using logic. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm constantly saying that, it, uh, that, uh, that a lot of what is, is working is illogical, strictly speaking, in a very literal mindset, it is. The critical thinking fallacies are illogical. And 
the only reason as to why I put um, a large chunk of uh, force behind my uh, arguments and, uh, you know, and why I'm a little bit in your face and the like, and on top of that, why I expect argument more in the next video.